families about their times of sorrow, their times of joy. So I would like to begin with a special uh, prayer, thanking God that we're able to gather here on a special occasion. And the reason is so beautiful, and the reason is very, very joyous. Today is the day for, for, for smile, today is the day for laughter. That This is one of the days that I'm sure anyone could dream to live for. This is the moment uh, that we, you know, in a thousand, thousands of years uh, of our tradition, this is a very, very joyous occasion. Um, but again, let me begin by saying, Baruch Ata Adonai Elohim Mechoilom Shechiyona V'Kimon V'Yigiyona L'Zman Which means, thank God, the, the ruler of the universe, the creator, that the, not every day is a happy occasion, but today we have the opportunity to gather and be here together on a happy occasion. So what is Bar Mitzvah? Bar Mitzvah is at 13 years old, and as they say in California, that's when the Jewish boy begins studying for the bar exam, bar mitzvah. Uh, but he's going to continue. I don't know. Is he is he a lawyer, CPA, or a doctor? What are we? What, what future we we uh, we holding for the for the for this boy? So the word bar mitzvah literally means the son of commandments. Uh, our uh, our culture, our tradition is steeped in mitzvot. There's something that every Jewish person knows, no matter how religious, how observant you are. When you a Jewish person hears the word mitzvah. We, we immediately know what we're talking about. We're talking about something very beautiful and lofty and sacred that you can do. So the Torah is full of commandments. Altogether, there's 613 commandments in the Torah. And I know that all of you are very eager. We're going to have a special moment where I'm going to read a list of all 613 commandments for you, for we can join me here again. Uh, but we, our tradition, you know, and we, our people always viewed bar mitzvah as a rite of passage. And we, there's a wisdom in Jewish faith that we want to start very early. We don't want to wait until he's 18, until he's 21, on 25. I'm talking about different milestones in American society, how you become an adult. You can drive when you're 15, I believe, or 15 and a half. You can vote and buy tobacco products when you're 18. You can buy alcohol when you're 21. And until you're 25, your car insurance would cost you a lot more than, than <laughs> once you turn 25. So obviously, there's certain levels of maturity that the American government has set for, for us. But if we in the Jewish tradition, when it comes 13 years old, we started telling the boy, and the girl we started even earlier, 12 years old, we tell her now, we don't wait until you're 15 or 18 or 21. We start now, we start telling you now that the maturity begins at 13. So that's, we get the sehin from the Torah. There are two boys who've done very wonderful, who've done very important things for their family. Ephraim and Menashe, and by the way, we're going to be blessing today. The parents will be saying the blessing that he may he grow up like those two biblical um, uh, biblical heroes. They're <laughs> boys who've done a very responsible thing. I don't want to go into the details of it, but they stood for the honor of their family, for the honor of their people, and the Torah calls them in in one uh, line before that the whole event. They're called boys. Their boys were growing up, how they were educated. And once they've done this very lofty and noble deed, the Torah begins calling them the man. And our sages looked it up, like what age approximately were those boys to? Turned out they were 13 years old. They were the twins. And since then, we, the, the sages uh, uh, ordained that the bar mitzvah needs to be celebrated at 13 years old. So to put it very simple, God is confident that David could follow the commandments of the Torah. So yes. who are we? If God trusts David, it's the most important thing that you can do, which is to follow the path of God. So we can only join us and do the same. So that's, I want to make sure that we, uh, you know, that's, uh, I always make sure when I study with my students to begin with the fact that we need to address the double standard of the bar mitzvah, so to speak, which is, today he's going to hear all the speeches about how he is uh, an adult, how he's mature, uh, how he's, and so on and so on. And, and tomorrow he'll be told what to do by his parents and, and grandparents and, and you know, he, so I, I understand that at this age, uh, it's for, for teenagers it's important to address what we're talking about. We're talking about responsibilities <coughs> to the family. We're talking about responsibilities to your community. We're talking, about the, we're talking about that you entering the age that you have to be held responsible for what you say and what you do. And it's not, it's not perfect. It begins at 13. It doesn't say mean that he's automatically become an adult, but even the fact but he comes into the synagogue and sits together and does all the things that adult members of the community do, 
that gives a boy a very important message that we are here in this our little family our little community we want to treat you as an adult we want to give you more responsibility we want to give you more things that you can do and that's the path to maturity so on one hand we follow our tradition it's been for thousands of years 3300 years we are the jewish boys would stand in front of the torah they would see how the grandparents the grandfather reads the Torah, the father reads the stands next to the Torah, and then he takes space, place literally next, right after the, the grandfather and the father. And that's one, uh, and that's how we honor our tradition. It's been done for thousands of years. I know it's been done in Rabinovich family. I know their, you know, uh, their religious items, they were, they were preserved there. You guys are very lucky because the Soviet Union, Soviet government came to Moldova only in 1940. They started a lot later, that's where you have the chance to, to, to be steeped a lot more in the Jewish tradition. But I think it's beautiful. That's one of the reasons we're here. We all came from former Soviet Union, so we can you know, be in this beautiful place and continue to honor our traditions and to celebrate our traditions and, to, and show you example that hopefully, you know, Paul already had it and now David, and then one day they will remember it. There's no doubt they, they won. And then one day they'll do the same. And that's how we renew our tradition again. And, and whatever, whatever took place in the Soviet Union, thank God it's no longer the case. You can renew all your commitments uh, to, to your faith and you can uh, continue to follow the, uh, the traditions and heritage that your parents and grandparents do, do held very, very dear. And I spent uh, with the Rabinovich family quite a bit of time. I know how important the Jewish faith and the Jewish religion was for the generations of Rabinovich men. So David has a great example to, fo to continue to follow. Uh, the, that, those traditions. So without further ado, we're going to begin uh, the service where uh, David, you, you will be, so your grandfather is going to come up here first. I'm going to read some Torah. Let's go for him. Uh, you will be taking his place. We'll be, we'll be changing places. You don't have to be, uh, we're actually going to be standing to the side. And so, Ravino is just actually with the Suda. Сейчас будем проверять, как вы знаете, как вы знаете, все да. молитвы. Ну, я шучу. Ничего, ничего проверять не будем. Вы сегодня можете только улыбаться и наслаждаться. Как сегодня, как сегодня ваш мир будет сегодня царство. Нужно всегда говорить слово Ну все. Да, мы вызываемся к Тори Айзек Пенаврум. Начинаем читать свиток Тори в такой день. Читают... Галстук очень красивый Again, you understand the, the, what we're doing here? First, uh, the grandfather standing next to the Torah as the Torah is read, and then uh, the father standing next, and then, uh, so we won't be there to tell us. And then you're going to be putting the talus on David's <coughs> shoulders because it'll be, that's the sign of fasting of tradition from one generation to another. <laughs>
בני שבי הקיסר בוני, 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 So David, if this is his first time reading the Torah in his life, so he has to say special blessings for it as well. Uh, Baruch et Archu et Adonai Hamevarach. Baruch Adonai Hamevarach Leolam Baed. Baruch Adha Adonai Elochenu Melechalam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Haamim Venatan Lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Notan Hatora. We all say Amen. Amen. So this is a, only the man, this is a sign of manhood of Jew, in the Jewish tradition. It's called Tefillin. The same thing that's written, it's exactly the same parchment as the Torah. It's a mini Torah, for the lack of the better word, is in here. Because there, and the reason we, he's putting it out, I'm going to tell you in a few moments. But first we're going to start putting on Tefillin. And the Talit goes back up. Let's say Amen. Amen. So that's again 
It's a very. It, it says in the Torah itself that every male in the Jewish in the Jewish uh, nation has to put it on every day besides Shabbat and holidays. And it has altogether ten different straps, but it has to do with the three fathers of the Jewish nation, the four mothers of the Jewish nation, the the altogether ten. It also has to do with ten commandments. These are all the symbolism of this. This is another sign. When you do it in the public for the first time, it's a sign that that you you've reached the age of adulthood. Uh, because uh, this is the mitzvah of the Torah, this is one of the commandments of the Torah that you can only do when you're 13 years old and not before. Что вы следите за временем? Мы укладываемся в 35 лет. Я шучу, я шучу. Мы делаем все великолепно. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Ba'ed. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elochecha, Bechol Levatcha, Ubechol Nakshacha, Ubechol Meodecha. Vechayu Hadvarim Kaele, Asher Anochi, Metzavcha, Hayom Al Levavecha. Veshinantam Levanecha, Vedibarta, Bam, Veshiv Techa, Bevetecha, Ubelech Techa, Vaderech. Uveshach Becha Uvkumecha Ukshartam Leot Al Yadecha Vechayu Letotapot Bain Inecha Uchtavtam Al Mezuzot Betecha Uvisharecha That's been his extracurriculum activity for a while now, so he deserves he deserves all the applause. And but again he got very lucky. It's a, you know there's certain days uh, that what you read in the Torah every week portions on. Uh, he's got he's gotten very lucky that whatever he read in the Torah is exactly the, the same prayer that he says today. So our tradition never encourages the blind faith. There's only certain moments in life that you should have to make a leap and so. On. But most of it is if there has to be very intelligent approach. So in our tradition, it's never just a prayer. You have to understand what you're praying. You have to understand what you're saying. So therefore, this part it's not reading from the Torah itself. But this part as a prayer, I'm going to ask you to translate for us as well. Hear, O Israel, the Lord that is our God, the Lord is one for everyone. You shall serve your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might and possessions. And these words which I command you today shall always be upon your heart. You shall teach them thoroughly to your children. You shall speak of them when you sit in your house and when you walk on the road, when you lie down and when you rise, you shall put them as a sign upon your hand, and they shall be as a reminder between your eyes, and you shall write them upon the doorsteps of your house and upon your gates. Thank you. So that's, you know, it literally says that the words of God should be on, next to your heart, it should be at your head, it's something that should guide you. We also put it as, as a mezuzah on, on our doorpost and on our gates. And these are the, something that helps you standard every day. This is your little physical connection with something divine that you can experience every day. So I'm going to remove the tefillin because now, we're gonna, in a few moments, we're going to uh, have a part of the ceremony for which the, the parents should be very grateful. Because as far as Jewish law is concerned, but in a few moments, you're going to repeat after me the words which literally means that uh, we are absolved from, from, from this responsibility. So he's now on his own. <laughs> Which means, let me exactly mean, like, yeah, so you, you're now paying your own bills, <laughs> tuition, tuition and everything else. No, but on a more serious note, very simple illustration. David goes to someone's house and accidentally he breaks a little item. Accidentally. 
So as far as American law is concerned, the parents call Rabbi Novich and Edelman and say, you guys, there's something broken, how are you going to take care of it? And if they go to synagogue with this, uh, with this, uh, with, with this uh, situation, then the rabbi says, no, David has to take care of it himself. So we, at least we start with the small items. We're not saying uh, paying the mortgage, paying the bills, but at least we start with something very, very small. That, and, and that's what has to be done officially, that as far as you are concerned in the Jewish community, and that's again, this ceremony today is full of messages to him, how he's getting older and older, and what, how he's bec what it means to become an adult. So at least in the, in the eyes of God, and it's again, he needs to hear it today, that, he, uh, that he's now on his own, he's, he can stand shoulder to shoulder with his father, with his mother, with his brother, and, and the grandparents. And again, the main idea that uh, he, uh, he starts carrying some of the burden of responsibilities on his own. And it's, a, uh, you, you know, it's a special way how we do it. You can put where the jacket, you can put out the jacket. And, but it also will have you an opportunity to give a, you're gonna repeat to me, uh, after me, the blessing that we give traditionally on this day, the blessing of parents to, 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 to the children. And he'll be like Ephraim and Menashe, and he'll be, may God, and, a, and a three part blessing that God would always protect him. God would always be with him. So without further ado, I'm gonna leave it here. Mayim, Ali, Alexander, please, we're gonna ask you to come up here. You stand on both sides, you can stand in the middle here. Papa's on the right, Mama's on the right, move a little bit, so you're standing right here. Okay, so as always, the symbolic hand on his head, like that. And please repeat after me. Uh, again, the first part, if the best boys, the best husbands, the best people were two biblical Jewish people called Ephraim and Menashe. So we're asking God today that he be like them. That's something that that's, you'll be inspired by this example. And the second blessing that you'll be repeating after me would be that God will be always watching him. God will always be with him. That he would behave in a way that people would always want to look at him, never turn away, and God will never turn away from him. And then the final prayer would be that God will give him shalom, will give him peace. And also after that, we'll remove you once you give him the blessing. And, and, you, send, and you send him on his uh, path to a doctor. So please, three different things you're going to be repeating after me. Yisimcha. Elohim, Elohim, Ephraim, Menashem. We say Amen. Then repeat the three blessings. The first blessing: May God bless you and always watch over you. Yevarechecha, Adonai, Veishmerecha. We'll say Amen. The second blessing: That God will always light in your way. Will be light of your way. And God will be with you with everything that you do. Yaev. Adonai, Panav, Eilecha, Vichunecha. Say Amen. But you're doing wonderful. You have Salimska Presnashenia, Chistisha, Chistisha. The most beautiful Hebrew that we can say. And the final one that God would always give you peace and always, uh, and only, only, uh, the, uh, his light would always, would always, you would see the light of God on David's face. So that's the third uh, line of this prayer. Yisa, Adonai, Panav, Eilecha, Veyasem, Lecha, Shalom. Shalom. We all say Shalom. 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 Amen. May he always have peace, a real peace with people, peace within himself. Thank you guys. That's a, I know the speeches are going to be coming a little later, but that's the very... Okay, so now that you've received all the messages and you've done all the traditions, now's the opportunity for David. David, you're gonna make sure. You wanna, you can move in here if you want to. Because this is the part, this is the part. I'm, I'm already trained to do without the microphone, but they, David will get his chance to, to say, put the microphone. Thank you all for coming to my bar mitzvah ceremony. I would like to share with you a few thoughts about today's event. Now that I am 13 years old, I am considered an adult member of the Jewish community, and I am expected to live my life according to the commandments of the Torah and take responsibility for what I say and do. Today, I have read from the Torah scroll as our tradition requires. The public performance of this mitzvah highlights my new status as an adult. It feels great to do this in front of my family and friends. I also said in front of you the prayer Shema Israel. This prayer has been said by the Jewish people for 3,300 years. It has been passed down from parents to children, 
and it is very appropriate to say today when we celebrate the passing of our tradition from one generation to another. My Jewish education and preparation for this bar mitzvah has consisted of studying with my Jewish, tu uh, my Hebrew tutor and with Rabbi Margolin. I am grateful that I have had the privilege to study uh, my religion and culture. I have learned about the Jewish holiday and the reasoning behind them. I know the most important events of Jewish history. Having this knowledge makes me proud of my heritage, proud of my people who are able to persevere through harsh circumstances and not only survive as people, but enriched the entire world so much. It is a privilege to live in the United States, a free country where I'm able to learn what it means to be a Jewish and practice Judaism. Unfortunately, there are many places around the world where having a bar mitzvah out in the open would not be possible. And as I understand, this was one of the reasons that my family has come to the United States. Although I will be considered an adult member uh, of the Jewish community according to Jewish law, I will not be considered an adult according to the American law for quite a few years. In spite of that, on a personal level, bar mitzvah is a huge milestone for me. Studying for my bar mitzvah taught me the importance of taking responsibility and following through with my commitments. I am very excited about entering life as an adult and joining this amazing community of family and friends as a proud member. I hope through my hard work and dedication to be able to fulfill my responsibilities, I hope to be able to share with you my moments of joy and to count on your support during difficult times. Thank you again for sharing this special occasion with my family and me. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Okay, all that's left to do, yeah, you can turn it off. You put it here. Okay. Please return back here. So the only thing that's left to do is to give a blessing on behalf of the community. I've been, uh, I've been very honored that Rabbi Novi's family and many other families who are sitting here <coughs> Consider me the rabbi of the community, follow my spiritual guidance, my spiritual advice. So I thank God the community is growing and getting stronger and stronger. And it's beautiful to see that we have already the next generation growing up here. And I'm no, I, I have no doubt that one day they're gonna, all, of, all of these boys and girls are going to make us very, very proud. And make us literally have the nachas, why we had to come to this country and, and start again, start from scratch and to do everything that we had to do. So on behalf of the community, it's a traditional prayer that been, and a blessing that's been given by the rabbi on behalf of the community to the bar mitzvah boy. And I'm going to translate it word for word. This is something with which we conclude the ceremony today. May he, may God of our fathers of our mothers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rachel, Rebecca, uh, and Leah, we, may he bless this, beautiful, this young man who was today for the first time in the honor of God, in honor of the people, has elevated his stood next to the Torah. And we, we give thanks for the good that God has done for us, for this opportunity to see him here today, and for all the goodness that was given to him up until this point. And we pray to God that the Holy One be uh, raised by him. Keep him, always uh, uh, hold and grant him life full of blessings and prosperity and health and joy. May, God, may his heart, the heart of David, May he be uh, David, son of Alexander and Maya. May he, uh, heart was only inclined to do good, good, good deeds, to walk in God's ways, to follow God's commandments and, and the traditions of our people. May he be successful and prosperous in all his ways. And may, may David find grace and mercy in the eyes of God and men. May his parents only derive, as we say, nachas, a special, it's a parental joy, I'll have a special lecture. What it means, nachas, how do you translate lachas? Into, into English or Russian. May his parents, as we say it's simple, will have only nachas from him. And, and, and so one day, as he's standing here today, may you, you see him more and more as he's standing and taller and taller as a man. And one day, God willing, under the nuptial, under the chupa, the, the, the nuptial canopy, and all his life, he'll be known for his good deeds and only bringing honor uh, and good name to his family. So now in Hebrew, Mishabech Avi Seinu. Abraham is like the Yaakov, you are a Bocher, David, David, Ben Alexander, and Maya. She all I am the Hoda Mokum Hoda Tail, says, Pay Dalaka, Tatiba, she also like him, 
David, now it's official. We're giving you, we're giving, we're giving you, we're giving you the ID. As far as Jewish community is concerned, welcome, welcome. As far as our people is concerned, можно дать ему немножко, только немножко лиха, немножко лиха. Как Макфел Юну молодому человеку. Thank you again. This concludes my ceremony. Again, the honor is mine. The 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 pleasure is all mine. And I again, I want to see as you grow uh, taller, not only physically. But more importantly, spiritually, and you only again, be only it's a big blessing that you can anyone who ever knows you that you can only be proud that they know you and somehow connect and associate with you. Thank you again, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, and uh, may you only see, as we say, Namaldavskim and Zakiyas Olgein of Simchas. May it be only on the happy occasions. May God give us more and more happy occasions to to spend together. Thank you again. The service is complete. Thank you.